Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we are going to be dealing with stains in your pool and how to get rid of them. Uh, I've got a process that works great. It's with using a product from BioGuard. It's actually quite a few products and it is a, it's a process to go through. So guys, if you want to get rid of the stains in your pool, this stuff is amazing. It will vanish right in front of your eyes. You want to see what I'm talking about? Check out this video. Let's get busy. So guys, one of the first things that you want to do, and you want to do this about a day before you're ready to start your chems, or working these chems to get rid of your stains, is uh, you need to turn off your chlorine generator. Uh, I use the salt system, and so you can just pull the wire. I, I just went in and flipped my circuit breaker, and you know your generator is off when, obviously, when all your lights are off here. So uh, turn this off. Uh, actually, for me, I turned it off a couple of days ago. My chlorine levels were fairly high, and I've actually had to do two applications of the product I'm fixing to show you. So let me get back into the pool area, and I'll show you what's next. With the pump circulating and the water circulating, you want the first thing you need to do is before you can start any of your process, you've got to get your chlorine levels less than one. So it's a product called Chem Out by BioGuard and this is a white powder your cap is your measuring stick or is your measuring device and there is a uh, graft on the back on the bottom there and it will tell you about uh, how much to use in my case it calculated out to about six capfuls but because my um, chlorine levels were so high uh, it knocked it down about a little over half uh, after one day and we ended up having to do six more capfuls and we knocked it on down and we got ours less than one. You got to get it down to that level before you can actually start using the erase. So anyway, step one, uh, again, remember, keep your pool circulating. And after this, hang on and we'll go to step number two. Now guys, this is one thing that I'm going to show you here in a sec that will absolutely blow your mind how great this product works. So this is in here, this is the main pump obviously. So uh, getting ready to start step number two, you want to, and I did this morning, uh, a few hours before you're ready to start, you want to turn your pump off and stop all circulation. And you know, in a pool, there's all kinds of currents going on up high and down low, and you want to give the pool time to get completely still. So again, I did it early this morning. The pool is just nice and still now. Uh, and so uh, we'll get ready to do this, but this is kind of a little extra thing I want to show you. So with my pump, I have got a basket in here, it, you know, a standard. This is like your last catch before it goes into the pump. And hang on a sec. There we go. Look how this basket is so discolored. This gets the discoloration from chlorine. In a minute, I'm gonna show you what this product I'm getting ready to use next will do. This, this is gonna blow your mind. All right, guys, one more thing I wanna show you before I get started, because again, uh, the results are gonna blow your mind. So if you look, this is one of the skimmer baskets, and you can see this is supposed to be just a brilliant white white. It's supposed to be as white as even, you know, this is not as white as it normally is, but it's supposed to be more of that color. The chlorine is what turns these brown. And if you look down in the skimmer, uh, I think you can see all that. So guys, just make a mental note. I'll actually do a cut in when we do the reveal, but this stuff just acts almost before your eyes. So anyway, getting ready to start the second process, but I wanted to show you these skimmers first and uh, and then we'll reveal them a little later and you're gonna go wild. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to start the second phase of this process, which is using a product called Erase. Again, this is uh, by BioGuard and this is it, Erase Iron Stain Remover. And I, I don't know 100%, but I know we've had some issues with copper as well. And in my case, I don't know that this is official, but in our case, it got rid of the copper stains as well. But anyway, let me show you guys what we deal with every spring. So just to reiterate, we have done the chem down or chem out and our, our chlorine levels are now less than one. We have ran and cleaned the pool. Um, we've back flushed, uh, cleaned the filters, cleaned the skimmers. And then about two or three hours ago, I turned the pool off 
and I let all you know all the current settle down so let me show you I hope you can see this you should be able to so it's always along my sides if you can see the brown that is from the metal that is just locked itself into the liner and you can see it's in all kinds of places around and it kind of follows that edge all the way down and in my case it's like that all the way around the pool so what I do and what they recommend is this is why you want the pool to be steel and you don't want any currents going on because I'm gonna pour the product that's just a powder and I'm gonna let it go right over top of where these stains are and that product will slowly just settle down and it'll go straight to where the problem is we're gonna let that gives maximum exposure to the, the problem areas and then after we let that set a while then we will turn the circulation pumps on and we will let the entire chemical flow through the entire system this is just kind of hit the high spots now uh, if you have a spot in the middle of the pool again this is not official but this is the way I've done it uh, is I will wade into the pool hold it away from me pour it over the spot and then quickly back away so I don't get any of that chemical on my skin and I immediately get out of the pool again I don't know if that's official uh, no protocol or anything but that's just the way I've done it to get to the stains in the middle part of my pool but again I mostly have everything now over the last couple years has just been right around the edges so it makes it easy for me so anyway guys let me get the uh, powder going and I'll show you how I put it in it's nothing magical we're just gonna go around the edges and ease the powder in just light now guys I'm getting ready to pour and just a quick note the only reason I took the basket out of the pump is just totally for demonstration purposes you don't have to do this I just knew my this this filter or this basket was extremely dirty and I want you guys to see the dramatic change you can leave it in your pump and once we turn on as it cycles the chemical you'll get the same result it, it will clean everything up inside the pump as well and all of this will come clean again I just want you guys to see so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a little bit of product in here and then I'm gonna go around the pool and by the time I get back you guys will see it's crazy so anyway here we go And guys, just a quick update. It's barely been 30 seconds, and check it out. Is that amazing or what? And you saw I only put a couple sprinkles in. Isn't that cool? And it's still working. And guys, just to show you, I haven't even got the other bottles in yet, but if you look down, you can see, I mean, there's no time lapse here, guys. I mean, it's still working on that stain, but remember, I just showed you all these stains, they're all gone. Isn't that amazing? It hasn't even been two minutes. We're gonna let this stuff set for an hour after I get all the chemical down before we even turn the pump on. All right guys, in the course of what, two minutes, I've only poured out two bottles and now look at the basket. Is that absolutely amazing? And let me show you here. I only put a couple of sprinkles in. And look at this basket. I mean, this product works. It, it happens right in front of your eyes. It is absolutely amazing. All right, I got two more bottles to go. Guys, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but you can just see how the powder just slowly goes to the bottom and it immediately goes to work. There's one thing I want to point out. That's why I focus on putting it out over the problem areas. Also a quick note, uh, anybody that sell, any of the pool stores that sells the BioGuard products can help help you with uh, figuring out exactly how much of each product you need. In my particular case, we are 27,000 gallon pool, so it takes four to five of these to go around. So I usually do two down each side, and then I'll do the last one 
on the ends and then have it if I have any problem areas to have a little bit of extra powder that I put straight on the the extra the problem areas anyway got one more bottle to go we're gonna leave the pool completely still for about an hour so guys we're gonna play the waiting game we're gonna let this sit and I'll come back to you here we'll jump forward in the video and I'll show you the next step. so guys now fast forward an hour all we've been doing is letting the pool stay still and let all that soak in and do what it's going to do and the only thing i'm done on this part of the process is i just turned the circulation pump on so now we're going to circulate all of that chemical and residue through all the pipes uh, through all the pumps and anything that's plastic it should clean all that up and um, it'll all just get pretty white so anyway guys we will let this go for about an hour or so and then we'll proceed on to the next step so again, the only thing we've done is just turn the pump on. Okay guys, fast forward a couple of hours and the pool has been circulating with the uh, release in it. And so now we're adding another product on top of that, which is called Pool Magnet Plus. Again, this is from BioGuard. And uh, this is kind of like, for lack of a better way of saying an octane boost. Uh, you can do, if you've got real light stains, and they haven't been in very long, you probably can get by with just this product. Uh, but anyway, I like putting at least a couple of these. Sometimes I have to put as many as four, but uh, I'm gonna do a couple of these today uh, just as a, a boost. And then we're gonna let this circulate uh, for a whole bunch of hours and then probably let this just do all night. And then I'll come back in the morning. We'll fast forward in the video till tomorrow morning. And there's one more step after this. Um, to finish out this whole process. But as you guys can see, all of the stains are out. The liner looks fantastic. And again, this is just kind of like a little boost that I'm gonna put in. Okay, this is a product that is a powder. Uh, and guys, if you have any questions on about how to use this, uh, you go to any of the pool suppliers that sell this and they can help walk you through this step by step But there is a way to figure out now what you go by you don't go by how many gallons is in your pool You don't go by how big your pool is this you go totally by the size of your sand filter I'll show you that here in just a second for me. I need four caps full this comes with a, uh, a little dispenser and I'm gonna get uh, and what I like to do is I'm going to do a cap full over on uh, this side and this goes straight into the skimmer. I'll explain why in a second. And all you do with the water circulating is you just dump it in. Okay, and then let me show you what this looks like. So this powder will be like this and you just leave it alone and it'll slowly absorb in and this goes straight to the top of your sand filter from the skimmer and we'll go explain in a minute why that's so important so I do two capfuls over here and I'm gonna go do two capfuls over on the other side <clears throat> okay guys so I'm back here with my sand filter and I have a high capacity filter because I have a variable speed pump so this is full of sand from about here all the way down to the bottom and the water comes in and it is dispersed out the top. So the way this works is that sparkle up chemical, again, that sand, it's even across the top. And that sparkle up powder works this way over and it completely coats the top. And I have visually seen this because uh, you have to clean your sand, replace your sand about every three years. And when uh, the last time I did, you could see where that sparkle up had coated the whole top of the sand. It's really amazing how it did that. So anyway, once it puts that powder coat on the top of your sand, as the water is filtered through all of that, that sparkle up will capture the metal and it'll hold it there. And then when you do your backwash and flush it out the other way, you will dump those metal deposits overboard out into your yard. And that's how you use the sparkle up chemical and how all of that works together to get the metals in your water out of your system and out onto the ground. So anyway, hope that helps understanding guys. So guys, if you're still here at the end of the video, thanks so much. I know this one's gonna be a little lengthy compared to the ones, most of the ones that I do, 
but it's a good process and it's good information to pass on and I wanted to share that with you um, anyway I'm at a point now that uh, uh, chlorinators on I'm working on boosting up and getting my chlorine levels to where they'll be then we'll do some water checks and see uh, you know check our pH level and all that and we're getting almost to the point of being ready to start enjoying our pool uh, this is a process I go through pretty much every spring and um, I have pretty much after this maintenance free just keeping my chemicals balanced and with the salt generator it makes it really easy so guys hope y'all enjoyed that hope you found it informative again please if you did please consider hitting that uh, like button and uh, guys for now uh, I will include at the end screens here on how to service your cell uh, the chlorine generator itself uh, how to service that be sure and check that out and guys for now you guys take care stay safe and I'll catch you later